Hello. In this video, we will look at how to submit safety issues in SMS Pro using the various pre-configured mobile responsive hazard reporting forms. Having proper hazard reporting forms saves you a significant amount of frustrating, wasted time going back and forth with the reporter trying to gather all necessary information. Does that sound familiar? Hazard reporting starts when employees have a safety issue to submit. You can submit with the quick report, which takes as little as 15 seconds to submit the safety issue using the general safety report, but you will almost always use the full hazard reporting process. Hazard reports can be submitted anonymously, whereby other employees will not see which employee submitted the report, confidentially, whereby only the designated safety manager will be able to see the report, publicly, where all employees can see the report, and privately, whereby only employees in a management role will be able to see the report. You can also choose to be notified once the issue is closed and or when any actions are performed on the issue, such as assessments, classifications, and so on. Next, you add some organizational elements to the issue, such as which division the issue is relevant to, a company base or location, the type of concern, such as safety, quality, compliance, and so on, and which type of custom report will be used. Conveniently, the pre-configured forms are mobile responsive. This means that the various reporting forms will look good at any size and on any of your devices, such as an iPad or cell phone. This gives employees much more incentive to report issues. There are currently 12 pre-configured reporting forms available for use, which will cover most, if not all, of your needs. Your SMS Pro Administrator can choose which hazard reporting forms are shown, meeting the data acquisition needs of SMS programs around the globe. If applicable, we can also develop custom reporting forms to meet specific needs. Now, after filling out the custom report, the safety issue will need to be given a title and description, and optionally, a risk level and description of initial actions using the general report. Next, you can choose a location, date and time, and specific location of an event or hazard location using easy to use map tools. Then, people who were involved can be documented, as well as vehicles or aircrafts that were involved. Finally, Attachments can be added, and the entire issue reviewed. When you report issues, they will update almost immediately, as you can see in our example on screen. Now, one of the biggest frustrations with web-based technology is when your internet fails or some other problem occurs, and you lose all of your work. We have created a fail-safe in the event that this happens. For example, in our current safety report, when we try and submit our safety issue, we receive an error message. When this happens, simply reload your page, and there will be a button that says Show Failed Issue Submission. Click this button, and you can see some text below, and another button where you can attempt to retry to submit your issue. If this still does not solve your problem, you can copy the error text and email to us where we will then work out the problem and resubmit your issue for you. No need to duplicate your work. After an issue is successfully submitted, two things happen. The employee who submitted the issue will receive a success email that shows what the employee can expect from their submitted issue, including how they can monitor its progress. Moreover, the safety manager will receive an email informing them of the newly submitted issue including steps that guide them through issue management with links to the relevant part of each management functionality. Now that the issue has been submitted, it will be processed through the issue management process. If you have any further questions about how SMS Pro can help you improve your hazard reporting or issue management processes, please contact us. Thank you for watching.